Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and it is Friday, November 8th. Um, we've got four NBA plays for you. For today's 13-game slate, we're super pumped. We have some great matchups tonight, and um, yeah, we feel really good about all these plays. So before we break into that, we are still running our special that uh, we're doing with Parlay Play, where right now, if you haven't signed up for Parlay Play yet, uh, you just use promo code BACKDOOR when you're signing up and you make your first deposit, and they're gonna give you 100% deposit match up to $100, plus a $5 promo play, plus we're gonna add 30 days in our premium Discord um, uh, just for signing up. So uh, how this works is you sign up, you have to use the code. If you don't use the code, the Discord thing won't apply. Um, so you sign up, you email us at bdfantasysports at gmail.com. We need your Discord username and your Parlay Play username. We confirm with Parlay Play. Um, it takes them usually about 24 hours, um, but they get back to us. They confirm that the code was used and then we get you in the Discord and we try to get you in as soon as possible, whether it's 1 a.m., like what, as soon as we can confirm with them, um, we'll try to get you in as soon as possible. So uh, you can take advantage of that, that we're running uh, for, for right now. And then um, also uh, our partners, Underdog, um, if you sign up with them right now, uh, use code BACKDOOR, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash, plus a free pick to help you cash your first slip. And um, yeah, all of our, partners are in the description of the video if you want to sign up and diversify that's the way to do it i mean like we're bouncing around different platforms every day because there's so much value in different types of plays that are you know specific to those platforms so i've been loving the two mans on parlay play i prefer prize picks for like six mans um and then uh yeah just bounce around where the value is so and then chalkboard yeah like all of them are a lot of fun so if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, you know what I'm gonna say, hit us with that like button or hit that like button for us. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're getting so close to 12,000 subs. Once we hit that, we're gonna give away another membership to our Discord. Um, and then if you have any questions about any props at all, just drop us a comment and we try to get back to you as soon as possible. We'll, we'll literally, like when you send us a comment, we try to hop in. Um, I hop on Outlier, I do a little bit of research and then uh, sometimes you guys put plays on my radar. So uh, just hit hit us up if you have any questions about plays and uh, let's get into this. So these are the plays that I'm taking today. Um, I'm gonna be going on parlay play. I'm taking Kevin Durant over 34.5 PRA and um, Jalen Brunson uh, over 31.5 points rebounds. Um, we're getting a little bit of a discount on parlay play for KD. Um, on underdog, I'm still taking the 35 and a half PRA over for KD. And then uh, Jalen Brunson, the points rebounds are up at 32. So we're getting a discount on both of those for parlay play. I still like these both to go over though um, on underdog. And then on prize picks, we're getting 35 and a half. So it's the same. So parlay play is the best deal, but uh, I like these on both. I already have them locked in. Um, so yeah, 35 and a half PRA for KD and 32 PR for uh Bronson. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, so I'm going to be going with um, Red Van Fleet over five and a half assists. And then I'm taking this Luka Doncic and Devin Booker three point made combo at five and a half. Um, really like this one a lot. Uh, we're getting that on parlay play as well. They do the combo deals also, so we're getting that at five and a half also. And then we're also getting Fred Van Fleet at 5.5 assists as well. And uh, for underdog, we are getting, let's see, I had these pulled up. I had to refresh, so take it away. We're getting Fred at five and a half, and then I don't know if they run the uh, the combos. So I was looking at just taking Devin Booker's three pointers over two and a half. I feel really confident in Booker's two and a half three point line. So gonna be rolling those two for those uh, for underdog there. All right, well let's get into it. So KD, um, Mike Budenholzer has been awesome for the Suns. I'm so happy. We look like a totally different team. KD has had some sort of resurgence he's playing great ball he even started slow in that last game and um second half he just went nuts so that just we look like a different team we look much better um and our guys are being utilized properly uh we've got Nurkic popping off like everybody's just being used properly which as a Suns fan I'm just I love to see it um so I love KD over 35 and a half tonight against Dallas uh, he's cleared this 63% of the time, five out of his last eight games, uh, which is all their games. And um, 
2024. He's got a soft matchup here, 16th in points allowed, 23rd in rebounds allowed, 20th in assists allowed um, to small forwards. And then uh, let me take a look. I don't know what the head-to-head, -head, the head-to-head -head doesn't look like great, um, but that's a different coaching staff. You know, that was um, actually, yeah, that was that was last year, um, obviously, except for uh, this game, because uh, we, we did play them once this year and he went for 42 PRA. So the history looks great under uh, Budenholzer. He's already got this done. Um, this game is going to be so fun to watch. It's always fun when uh, Phoenix is playing Dallas. We're playing in Dallas, which is also a lot of fun. Um, I love playing on the road uh, against rivals. Uh, it's just fun to try to upset the home crowd. Um, but we have a tur uh, <laughs> tur uh, 232 and a half over under uh, with Dallas favored by two and a half. So this should be nice and close. Guys should be getting their full minutes. And KD's been getting steady minutes across the board, 39 minutes per game on average in 2024. So his lowest game was that most recent one, 37.2 uh, uh, minutes. Shooting 41% from beyond the arc, uh, 6.3 attempts per game, averaging 2.6. In that last game, uh, he he was just going, he was really going for it. Uh, 11 attempts and cashed only four of them. But um, I like him to be able to get a little bit of uh, everything done here. Um, rebound chances, 10.3 uh, rebound chances per game, 6.1 6 uh, potential assists per game. And then um, let's see, let me just take a look at the assists in general. Yeah, and he's got these moments where he can really just start popping off. He's had two games this year where we went for six assists and the matchup is just really solid. So I'm loving this play. I'm loving for Flex Friday, taking a play from a guy that I know is going to get his minutes, I know is a big part of what they're doing, and the line doesn't seem too high at 35 and a half. So feeling great about it. If we take a look at daily grind here, they don't like the 35 and a half. They have his points rebounds juice to go over. Uh, best play on the board if you want to pivot to that at 32, 52.62% um, odds to hit the over. Um, but like I just showed you, um, you know, DG has this at a minus 131, but I just showed you he has two games this year where he already popped off for six. Uh, assists. So just for three more, um, I don't mind just throwing those assists in there because uh, it's looking pretty consistent. You know, he's got uh, multiple games with four assists, a couple with six assists. So uh, go with your gut, but um, I'm taking the full PRA. And then um, if we get into this play here, Jalen Brunson, I know at first glance, it's like, oh my God, he's only cleared this once. So if you don't want to take it, that's up to you. I'm here to show you what I'm excited about, and then you guys make your own decisions. But I feel like he's going to be uh, getting over this line. Um, and this is set at 32 and a half, um, which is it? Is underdog? Oh, underdog just bumped him down to 31 and a half. We'll take it. Um, so that's even better. Is anyone else bumping it? Well, I already locked it in on prize picks. Um, but yeah, we'll take 31 and a half. Um, so even then, let me just adjust this. Uh, 31 and a half. I think he's cleared it more than once. Yeah, and he knocked on the door of it against Indiana, just going for 31. But we do have some injuries, nothing too significant. But I mean, Giannis is a game time decision, but he's probable. Chris Middleton still out. Gary Trent uh, potentially out. He's a game time decision. Uh, he's actually questionable. Giannis is probable. Um, Precious Achua, Mitchell Robinson, obviously they don't play the same position, but that does affect rotations a little bit. And then we have Cameron Payne game time decision as well. So if, Cam if Cameron Payne happens to miss, obviously that does affect Brunson directly um, as far as like relief off the bench minutes. Um, but I, I like him to get this done. And then if you if you take a look at the history here, um, he's he's kind of getting into rhythm, but his history against this team looks great. He's cleared this uh, four out of five matchups. And um, the, the his worst game was 27. But other than that, he's gone for 39 or higher. So he matches up well. And um, speaking of the matchup, uh, specifically to point guards, 25th in points allowed, 19th in rebounds allowed. So I just think this is one of those games. It's the weekend. Uh, you know, he's got this new squad. It looks like Carl Anthony Towns is, has been a solid fit so far when he's, uh, you know, not, not missing games. But... Um, or, you know, a little hobbled or questionable coming into the game. But I think this is going to be one of those nights where Brunson is super active and going off um, like, yeah, 36 points, 38 points, 43 points. Like he matches up well against this team. 
So I like him to get this done. I think it's, you know, he has the potential for this to be uh, his best game of the season so far. And he's yet to really break out and have one of those wild Brunson nights. So I'm feeling really confident about it, especially at 31 uh, and a half on underdog. I'll take that all day. Um, let's see. Let me pull him up here real fast. Thought I had him up already. Okay. So they like his points to go over 28 and a half. They like his points assist to go over 35 and a half. Um, and his points rebounds are just slightly favored to the under. It's a 50.45% odds to hit the under at 32. At 31, I think it's probably a different story. Let me just refresh this real quick because I have this set to underdog now. Yeah, now they've got that 31 and a half as the best play on underdog for Brunson. So lock that in if you're playing on underdog. I mean, if you want to, I feel good about it. 52.99% uh, odds to hit the over minus 131. And yeah, there, it seems like the odds makers are kind of just like bouncing around here. Um, you know, some uh, up at 32 and a half, some at 32, some at 31 and a half. Um, but we're getting it at 31 and a half on underdog and parlay play. And I already locked it in on underdog at 32, or I'm sorry, on prize picks at 32. And I'm comfortable with that. So um, if you guys want to check out Outlier, um, obviously helps you make decisions. It really dials into the details from injury reports, matchups, insights about the players, history. You can look at the head to head matchups. You can even take certain players out that are due to miss. Um, Ryan Dunn out tonight. Uh, so you can see like what that player has done in that particular category, like Katie's assists without Ryan Dunn. Um, it's just, they, they help you really with precision, just dial into the details of the play you're taking. Um, and they're going to let you try it for free. So just go through the link in the description for outlier. And, uh, they're going to give you a seven day free trial to see how you like it. You can use this for basketball or football, um, and other sports that they cover like NHL and different things like that. So definitely take advantage of that. And I'll pass it over to Jordy. All right. Sorry, I was trying to mute my mic again. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got Fred Van Fleet for over five and a half assists. Um, feel really good about this one. Um, you know, Fred's been uh, killing killing it on the assists, and, um, you know, he's always good. Like, his potential assists is what really draws me to this play. Um, every game, he's in double-digit potential assists, and his line is set at five and a half. So I like these plays like this where – they should be hitting these lines regularly, but you know, just because these guys aren't hitting their shots in a few games, this line is really deflated and uh, there's a lot of value behind this. In that last game, he had double digit assists again. He had 12 potential assists and he went for 10. So that's what he should be doing regularly, honestly, if these guys are just hitting their shots. So um, going into a matchup like this against OKC their defense hasn't been as good as last year it's been good but um, they're definitely giving up more shots so uh, 19th and assists allowed giving up a value of nine to point guards I love friend Fred Van Fleet to get this done tonight as long as his guys come out and play well and hit their shots he's gonna cash this no problem I mean he's averaging 12.1 potential assists per game and his line is set at five and a half so I think he can get this done he has been getting in a little bit of foul trouble lately. Um, it is hard for him to defend. You know, he's a little bit of a smaller guy, so um, maybe he's just trying a little bit too hard. He's, you know, it's not horrible. He's cleaning it up a little bit, but his minutes look great. He's getting about almost 40 minutes a game, so I think he'll hit this no problem as long as these guys hit their shots tonight. In the head-to-head, -head, he's hit this uh, twice and missed it twice. But again, in these games where he missed it, he had five assists on 19 potential assists. That is disgusting. Um, if these guys could just hit their shots, he would have had like, you know, he could have had 19 assists. So um, I really like this line a lot. So we're going to be taking Fred Van Fleet for over five and a half. Um, moving into this, uh, uh, let me show you daily grind quick. Uh, daily grind likes this as a minus 121, 50.78% chance. Um, moving on to this combo. Five and a half three pointers for Devin Booker and Luka Doncic combined. This is crazy. Um, Luka Doncic goes off every time he plays the Suns. He could hit this line alone. Um, the last four matchups against the Suns, he's had eight threes, four, six, and five um, on 12.8 three point attempts per, against the Suns alone in the last four head to heads. Lately, 9.9 .9 three point attempts, shooting 33%, making 3.3. If he can hit three, we're, that's great. If he can hit four, I think this hits no problem. Um, even even on the other side of the ball. Let me pull up Devin Booker really quick. Um, 
thought I had him pulled up. This won't take long. Okay, let's see. So Devin Booker with his three points made. Um, you know, against the uh, against the Mavs, he's had a six three pointer game against them. Um, you know, he's also shooting seven attempts, making forty percent against the Mavs. So that's why I was saying with Luca, if he can hit four, this would be great because Luke or Booker does go for two three pointers quite a bit. So um, this season though. He's had a lot of good games where he's gone for four, three, five, um, and then a couple of two games. So he's shooting 7.9 attempts per game, and he's making 35% this year. So he's hitting 2.8 a game. If he can hit three and Luka can hit three, that's literally golden. That's all we need. Um, I do like him to go over the two and a half line booker. So I just think it makes a lot of sense, honestly. Um, the Suns have matched up pretty well against Dallas uh, this year so far. It looks like they're you know they finally are breaking this like rivalry curse so it's gonna be a good game i can't wait to watch this one um you know we got two people on the maps now who don't like devin booker <laughs> we got clay thompson and luka Doncic. so it's, it's always a fun matchup when these guys get going um hopefully there's a little bit of drama involved in this game it's always a lot of fun so i really like this line though i mean you got two guys who are shooting almost 10 plus three point attempts per game and their lines are set at a combo of five and a half so the 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 statistics tell us that they should hit this no problem um so yeah feeling really good about that combo and then for underdog we're just getting the devin booker three pointers like i said i like him to go over two and a half so really digging these lines today um yeah so that's gonna do it for my place um if you guys want to check out daily grind um they are really awesome i mean they're the cream of the crop when it comes to dfs uh tools and the optimizer which we use here as you can see they've got four different tools but the uh the dfs optimizer is definitely our favorite the fantasy scores are always a little wishy-washy because they show like where you're getting the value so uh mgm grand has this at a 33.6 on this fantasy score and prize fix has it at 36 so they're telling you that there's like a big chance for it to go under because of the discrepancy it's not always the case so you gotta be a little careful of those but here are all the plays they've got hooked up for today so if you guys want to take a look at any of these go right ahead but um that's the awesome thing about the DFS optimizer is you can um, take a look at the board and it'll show you all the best value. So you can just quickly put together a six man if you want or a two man, whatever you like, you can play and it just helps you find the best value. So it's a lot of uh, really, really a good app and it's a lot of fun to use. So definitely check them out. There's a link in the description below. If you use code backdoor at checkout, they'll give you a 25% discount on your first purchase. So whether you want to lock that in for a month or up to a year, you can do that. Um, they just give you 25% off that first uh, purchase. So definitely take advantage of that. And chalkboard, like uh, Russo was mentioning earlier, it's a lot of fun. It's more like parlay play where you get all these alt lines like this. Like uh, parlay play has been putting out a ton of alt lines. They got 15 different alt lines for Fred VanVleet's <laughs> points, but chalkboard is very similar and it's a, a mobile app only so also i'll show you it on the desktop but uh it is kind of comparative to parlay play but what they do is they run like six specials a day so you'll get like boosted multipliers on plays or you'll get discounted plays so they they run a lot of discounts which makes it worthwhile over there so if you're looking for another app to diversify what you're playing on definitely go check them out and hook us up by using code backdoor and they'll give you a hundred percent deposit match up to a hundred dollars so you help us and they help you it's kind of a good deal and you get a free play to help you cash your first slip so they'll give you like a 0.5 fred van fleet points of course he's gonna hit one point right so um that's always awesome to have those to put into your lineup as like a freebie so that's gonna cover it all for me and uh yeah i'll pass it over to russo now cool yeah i was just looking at chalkboard specials they've got 10 nba specials on the board today so they're going hard on friday a bunch of boosts which those are my favorite i like the boost better than the discounts they'll give you like a 2x for like the normal line that's on all the platforms right um but cool so if you guys want to come check out our discord uh shout out to sell beats our boy had a good night <laughs> he cashed a lot on fanduel um but if you guys want to come check it out you can use that parlay parlay play promo speaking of promos shout out smoky d he cashed on parlay play he's the one who uh won the giveaway a few weeks back um but yeah you can use the parlay uh, parlay play promo um and get a free month or you can just sign up directly through patreon um that just manages our subscription so you sign up through patreon you go into the patreon settings and then there's a connected apps option in the menu bar and then you just sign into your discord right there and it'll just unlock the the discord for you you can hop in the community chat let us know you're new just so we can welcome you and show you around um we've got an extra analyst in here um 
Moose, and we also have uh, Boston Nick, who's just keeping everybody up to date with injuries and trades and different things like that. So he's awesome. We appreciate Boston Nick a lot. Um, but yeah, and then you can also follow us on our socials. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Logged into my other one. Um, but you can follow this, I guess is just me. Um, <laughs> J Russo BDFS. But you can also follow us at uh, at Backdoor FS on X, uh, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, all of that information is just in the uh, description of the video. So you can follow me, Jordy, Moose. Uh, we're all putting out plays um, on X from time to time. Moose is on there every single day putting out plays. So definitely go follow him if you want some extra plays. But we appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping us uh, grow this channel and supporting us. Um, we appreciate you. So good luck on your Flex Friday slips and we'll catch you in the next video. Good luck, guys.